Hi, I'm Max the Hare. And I'm Tori the Tortoise. Come join us on our adventures across the world. We're on an epic road trip in the land of Cappadocia. <sighs> Did we have to start the day so early? The early bird catches the worm, or carrot in your case. <laughs> You'll see for yourself. Look, the sun is rising. What a ball of fire. Oh wait, what's that floating in the sky? We are going to ride a hot air balloon across the beautiful land of Cappadocia. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. We should get there as soon as we can. Max for maximum speed! <laughs> Tori, never in a hurry. This is way bigger than it looked from afar. Are you ready for up, up, and away, Tori? It's different seeing it in person, huh? I don't know about this anymore. Oh, don't worry, buddy. I'm sure there's a powerful engine taking us up. There isn't, Max. It's all from heat. That's why it's called a hot air balloon. What? How's that possible? Heat expands matter. If you seal the top of an empty bottle with a balloon above a flame, the air inside the bottle would gain heat and expand. Now imagine if you have a huge balloon. The air inside the balloon is able to expand and becomes less dense than the outside air. Balloon lifts off the ground. What keeps it afloat is a continuous exchange of heat, known as the convection current. The water above the flame will heat up and rise while the cooler surrounding water will move down to be heated up. This movement of heat energy continues, setting up a convection current. Have you looked around you, Tori? Oh my, what? We've flown up? This isn't too scary. If what you said about convection current is true, then the only way down is to lower the heat so that the air inside can cool and sink. Isn't it? You're absolutely right. Then you have nothing to worry about, my friend. We can go as high as you like and come down as soon as you want. Here we go! What are you doing? 